Ace Ash and I'm the vegan neuropsychologist and we're joined here with the baby psychologist here and today's video is about why vegans are so mean and I've really been thinking about it for some reason I've been thinking about it a lot lately and I guess it's all the videos that people have been putting up on YouTube talking about the vegan community being so toxic and hateful and no longer wanting to associate themselves with veganism not wanting to use the vegan label and I've been wondering if it's something specific to veganism or is this just a representation of maybe what happens in broader society. Oh, I've been thinking a lettuce. So I've been thinking about whether this happens in other communities, whether outside of the vegan community we still see this same sort of hate and, and bashing of other people and viciousness and maliciousness. And the first thing that popped into my head was the mainstream parenting community. Now, I became a parent two and a half years ago, and uh, if you go onto any kind of really popular parenting site, you will see this same kind of viciousness. People will take any opportunity to judge each other, to shame one another over parenting decisions. And some of the parenting decisions aren't even as black or white as whether a vegan should be wearing leather. It's, um, it's things like breastfeeding and, and bed sharing and co-sleeping and um, what else uh, feeding kids organic food and, and feeding kids junk food and um, there's a tremendous amount of the same kind of shaming and hate that goes on in the parenting community that we see in the vegan community and I suspect it's like this in all sorts of other communities so I don't think veganism is the problem. So here's the thing, when someone does something online and it invokes a negative reaction in us, maybe we feel angry, maybe we feel jealous, maybe we feel some form of discomfort, and often our first instinct is to lash out. And it's a very impulsive kind of behavior that someone says something or does something and our first instinct is we just type a really nasty comment or um, we say something really hurtful or we post something really mean or we upload a video in re retaliation and when we're in a let's say an angry state and we try and respond to someone we're generally going to come across as angry or pissed off or annoyed or frustrated or something along those lines it's really hard to come across as empathetic and compassionate when we're feeling angry and I think one of the best things that we can do um, especially when we're online especially when we're sharing our opinions is to just stop and to do nothing for a few moments before responding if we act impulsively and respond impulsively we often say things that we wouldn't we wouldn't normally say or maybe we would regret later on once we've cooled down and we're thinking about things with a clear head because when we're angry or frustrated or whatever it's really hard to think rationally and to think logically and we tend to be very judgmental and we see the world as black or white so people are either good or evil um, things are either good or bad people should either be encouraged or destroyed there's it's kind of all or nothing and there's no gray area there's no in between it's really really hard to act with empathy and compassion and ironically that's what veganism is all about and what this does, because we're seeing things in such extremes, it causes us to behave in extreme ways and often it's a very impulsive way of responding. So even after we let the emotions settle and we calm down, hopefully we can start to look at the situation with a bit more open-mindedness, maybe try and put ourselves in the other person's shoes. Maybe we can assume that people had good intentions but it just didn't come across the way that they wanted to. And then if we're still finding ourselves coming across as very hateful or trying to tear other people down, then it could actually be that there's something bigger going on here. And I suspect that this is the case with some people in the vegan community, just like it's the same in other communities, like in the parenting community as well. Um, so if we are still wanting to tear other people down, um, there is only one person that that benefits and it is ourselves. The only person that it benefits to tear someone else down is ourself we are the only beneficiaries and even then it's only for a fleeting moment because nobody ever felt good about themselves by tearing other people down the only way to feel good about yourself is to know yourself and to have confidence in yourself to know what you stand for to know who you are to know what you value and to live life according to those values I think that this is one of the reasons why vegans can feel extremely passionately about certain topics I am no exception. I definitely feel very passionate about certain topics and I think that it's okay to express our opinions but we can do so in a respectful way. And I think by pausing, avoiding impulsive responding, and avoiding that immaturity of impulsive responses and by aiming to have as much empathy and compassion for other people as we can, we can still get our point across but we don't have to do it disrespectfully. 
So the example lately with Christina, for example, she's gotten some really nasty comments. The same sorts of comments happen in the parenting community. I mean, people who bed share with their children, I sleep right next to my two and a half year old, um, people say that, that that's child abuse, that that's perverted. People say that breastfeeding is perverted. We, we, get, we get parents accusing other parents of being child abusers and saying that their kids should be taken away from them and thrown in jail. Why? Because they breastfeed, because they share a bed with their young kids or even their older kids. And so this same kind of hate, it's not unique to the vegan community. I think we need to stop looking at veganism as the problem and start looking at ourselves as potentially contributing to the problem. And I think if we all, and myself included, by the way, I'm definitely part of this, just part of the vegan community, just as anybody else. I think if we all just took a moment to stop and to be introspective, to avoid the impulsive responses, just to pause, to breathe, let our emotions settle down before we hit the upload button, before we hit the post button, before we hit enter, before we start responding to things. It's just to stop and think. And then if we still feel the need to act out in our words, if we still feel the need to be violent in our words, then maybe that's a sign that there's more to the story than meets the eye. Maybe we need to look at our own self-esteem. Maybe we need to look at the way we feel about ourselves because the way we treat others is often a reflection of the way we treat ourselves. If we feel the need to tear down others for making mistakes, then there's pretty good chances that that's what we do to ourselves when we make a mistake. And that's not, that's not healthy either. Psychologically, that's not healthy. So I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you so much for your time in watching this video. I would love to know your thoughts. Um, I'm not saying that my opinion on this is the right opinion. I think we need to have an open conversation about mental health in the vegan community in all communities really mental health is a problem the rates of depression and anxiety are skyrocketing um, especially amongst youth especially amongst the younger people so younger people who maybe are moving towards veganism people who want to um, embrace veganism but they're afraid to join the community because they think it's a hostile one it is not all right thanks so much i appreciate your time please hit the subscribe button if you like what you heard let me know um, what your thoughts are on this issue and i will see you in the next video